Thank you for tuning in to No Flag Radio. I'm your host, P. This is another P code. Today's P code. If you're out here claiming you biracial, you off code. And that's the code of the day. I say this because I posted a comment on Mr. Superboy 223's account. This is now a Your World is His channel. Subscribe to his channel. And it was referencing a situation with Tamara Maori. She's basically having issues with her white husband. And she don't know how to keep it in house. She goes public with it. And starts talking some side slick type of shit. And anyway, my comment is like the most highly positively rated comment. And I was just basically saying, you know, it's called Swirler's Remorse. And all the comments below me is agreeing. But then there's some people that's in the comments that's kind of going back and forth arguing with each other about well, no, she's biracial. She's not swirling. She's biracial. And I'm telling you now, people that's talking that biracial shit, they on some slick shit, okay? Let's just get to the meat of it. What they are willfully ignoring when they talk that biracial shit is that they're in a global system of white supremacy, period. Okay, you ain't biracial. You are what the police make you out to be when they pull you over and stop you, okay? Their judgment of you on site is the only thing that determines your racial identity as long as we're in this anti-black war in this global system of white supremacy. So this one girl was going on about her parents. One is black and she can identify with either side and she can do it all. No, you can't. Your parents have no power in this system. What you identify as has no validity compared to what someone deputized as a power figure over you has to say about your race. It's their opinion about what you more closely resemble that is your race, not about what you know about your parentage. They don't care about facts. They care about what they think about you, okay? First, get that out the way. It's okay to understand both of your parents and one is black and one is white, but presenting yourself as a biracial amongst black people has always been fishy to me. Anybody coming to me talking that biracial shit, I'm like, okay, you hope that you're dealing with somebody That's on some colorism shit. You hope you're dealing with a black man that's on some colorism shit so I can write you off as something special or something other than. That's what it sounds like to me. Especially when you think about in any other context, any other meaningful social scenario, like you applying for a job or if you're getting stopped by the police, identifying as biracial will not gain you anything if you look black. You understand? So the fact that you bring it up to black people and come into our forums and our places where we convene and talk about it shows me you want some attention seeking bullshit or either you willfully hiding from white supremacy somewhere in your intellect and you want to see if black folks still floundering about the issue. No, we know it's an anti-black war out here and you need to pick a side. Pick a side and move the fuck on and ride with that side and get on with that side. But don't be on this biracial shit. We ain't got time for that shit. You either black or you the other. You on the other side. And that's it. The era of the biracial seeking attention by defining as a biracial. That shit is dead. Shit is dead in the dirt. You understand? So that's the code of the day. I'll get it y'all later.